Good morning you guys, it's Karen and I'm here to talk about a very simple game that you can leave for your dog either when you go out and leave them for something to occupy them or just because, just something to entertain them. All you need are some treats and I'm going to show you the different treats that I'm using here. You don't need all those different kinds, this is just to give you a suggestion. And a piece of paper, it can be a normal piece of paper or a thicker piece of paper, I'm probably going to use two. Um, I am going to use a box to put the pieces of paper in, this is just an empty box, but you can just leave the pieces of paper on the floor, you don't actually need a box. And so all we're going to do is rip the paper into pieces. So I'm going to rip this again into about that size. Yeah, that size will do. And then I've got quite a few pieces of paper there. Um, the treats that I'm using, the first one is this. This is the Lamb Minis Grain Free by Wainwright. The next two are by the Deli Dog. Um, I didn't even know that was the name that did these to be honest and these are puppy foods but I don't mind buying puppy things because although some of them are more fatty they're often smaller so look at these these are duck and cod mini bites and then these next ones are called pork with beef sausages ah pork with beef I know people don't ever realize that the languages they use sometimes to I was going to say trick you but yeah, it is to trick you. <laughs> I know that there are friends of mine that know about um, Watson's allergies and they have bought him treats that look like they say beef treats. But when you actually read them, they're 90% chicken and 2% beef. Anyway, these are a little bit bigger than I would like. They're quite big. So I will cut these in half um, because, you know, you want... You want them to get a taste, a good taste, and you will get a good taste with half of one of these, um, but I just don't want, I want the game to last. So you can probably imagine that all you do is take one of these pieces of paper, put a little treat in the middle of it, and then screw it up and throw it in that box. Um, the only situation where I think this might not work is if you've got a dog that eats paper. <laughs> Thankfully, Watson doesn't like to eat paper, and we have played this game with him, and he does really enjoy it. I have tried to put in like pork, fresh pork, but it's not a great treat to put inside these bits of paper. You want to put something that is fairly firm and that doesn't sort of crumble or melt into the paper, that the pork that I tried just sort of melted through the paper. So I have screwed up those pieces of paper with the treats in, I can see that one a bit, and just put them in at the bottom of this box. Now what you can do to make the game harder for them is to take another piece of paper and tear it up in strips and or even just take pieces of paper if you can afford to be using loads of paper and put them in here amongst this so that not every single one they get a treat with um, you know you can put a treat in every other screwed up bit of paper i am going to put some more paper in here um, just for him to have to sort of snuffle through so that's my my box done but like i said you don't have to use a box you can just put all of those bits of paper you could scatter them around a room and so it could be a kind of find it game or you could put them in the toy box and they could have to snuffle through their toy box to get it um, it's just something that will keep them nicely occupied but like i said the only problem i can see is if you have a dog that eats paper I hope that was helpful please let us know in the comments below what you use for your dog when you leave them um what do you find works best a kong or a game is it a homemade game um, and i think the more ideas that we can generate the, the better a life the dog will have you know because the more ideas the more things they get to keep them occupied so thank you so much for watching and i will speak to you again